Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dor, and today we need to talk about C.S. Joseph. Now normally, I wouldn't really talk about another creator. In general, I have the utmost respect for the people that are spending in their hours and work to try to help and support other people on YouTube and through coaching. And what I want to say is I have nothing but love and respect for the majority of the creators on YouTube that are doing this work and putting in all these hours. However, I feel it's time that we talk about C.S. Joseph, and there's a reason why I single out and want to talk about C.S. Joseph, and it's because of the ethical missteps and the problems of his theory and of his content. And I want to direct a series of criticisms against C.S. Joseph and how he conducts himself in his professional relationships and towards his viewers and towards the people that come to him for coaching. Even though for some reason INFJ is like way overvalue credentials, it's so pathetic and annoying and I just I just I just want to slap them because I'm so triggered by INFJs putting so much value in what the doctor says. Oh my gosh, like really? How about you guys like think for yourselves for once? Like seriously, go think for yourself. Go verify your beliefs because for some reason INFJs have this problem because hashtag TE trickster, right? TE trickster. You INFJs have this problem where you can just believe about anything. And it's safer for you to believe the people with the credentials because they're important because INFJs overvalue importance. These are my three major criticisms against C.S. Yosef. Criticism number one, the use of social engineering. Now, before I get into social engineering as a topic, I want to preface this by saying that there is a problem with the fact that most of us who are making videos on psychology and on the 16 personalities online have never been confronted with ethical dilemmas and with ethical problems. While most people who study to a psychology degree or to become therapists have to take a long time to work and think about their professional relationships to their clients and to the people who enjoy or seek their work or help. We have never been confronted with or taught how to think about and approach ethical matters. So in that sense, I have an understanding of C.S. Joseph and I understand that he is putting out his work and has never really reflected on or thought about moral issues. It is his blind spot and it's something that he has to think about. The major criticism that I want to direct towards C.S. Joseph is his use of social engineering. Of course, it's an attractive idea to think that you can manipulate or talk to the personality types in a way to get what you want. The idea that you could exploit an INFJ or INTJ by their weaknesses or use their problems or deficiencies against them to get them to like you or to support you or to change their mind is of course an interesting idea. And so I can understand the interest in his content and his work. Of course people want to believe that you know you can use personality theory in order to get ahead at work or to become success in order to get ahead at work or in order to be successful in your career. Of course, it's an attractive idea that you could become more attractive to a girl or a boy or that you could have more success in relationships through the use of social engineering. However, typically, social engineering is a slippery slope. For those of you have, who have read The Game by Neil Strauss, you'll see that in many ways the use of social engineering, while it can be successful and while it can help you build relationships and attraction, can make you feel very, very alone. This kind of uh, attitude to life, the use of engineering and manipulation, tends to lead to dishonest relationships, and relationships where you cannot be yourself. In many ways, when you have relationships with people based on false presumption or based on manipulation, you have relationships with only yourself, and these relationships tend to feel very lonely. It's like being surrounded by people who like you, but feeling completely alone, because you can't be yourself around them. And so, social engineering promotes the presentation of a false self to the outer world, a self that would be liked or popular or successful when you could instead seek to be yourself. Social engineering is not only damaging to you, but of course also to the other person who can find themselves in false relationships based on false pretenses. While it can seem that you are and fit everything they need, you're actually presenting a false version of what they need. And so in many ways, you're steering and manipulating a person into a relationship with a person they're probably not meant to be with for the longer perspective or for the future. Still, C.S. Yosef has presented a series of videos where he will talk about how to use social engineering to manipulate the 16 personality types, promoting a very unhealthy approach to personality psychology. However, the problem of C.S. Yosef goes much further 
in the sense that he presents often a false view of the 16 personality types. Not only does he advocate the use of social engineering to manipulate the 16 personality types, but also he seems to completely misunderstand the true nature and possibilities and potential of the 16 personality types. C.S. Joseph has presented a series of dichotomies such as starters or finishers, and uses this to promote his own definitions and pigeonholing the personality types further than what they need to be. By adding more and more dichotomies to the 16 personality types, drawing more and more lines between and connections between the different types, he creates even deeper and even more difficult boxes to get out of, presenting a personality psychology in which you become trapped in a box rather than introduced to your potential. The 16 personalities is meant to be a tool to individuate and to learn to become more than what you are, to learn to understand all the eight cognitive functions and to learn to develop yourself. But how C.S. Joseph uses the cognitive functions and personality types seems to create more of a limiting perspective of the personality types, further making you feel smaller and less capable than what you did before you watched his videos. In some ways, you could say that his approach to the personality type stems from his own insecurities and problems. Many of his videos about the 16 personality types show his own frustration and anger and unresolved issues. And in many videos, he will be so angry when he talks about the 16 personality types that it looks like he's almost spitting into the camera. And how he talks about the 16 personality types is not healthy. When he is putting his own insecurities into his own content, when he is putting his own unhealth and trauma into personality type, he is reinforcing negative stereotypes about the 16 personality types. People who watch these kind of videos will end up feeling smaller and worse about themselves than what they were before. And that's not the goal. The goal of personality psychology is to make people feel bigger and to show them what steps they can take to grow and to develop and to become happier and more full people. The third problem with C.S. Joseph stems from his attitude towards professional relationships. There is a reason why no other creator seems to want to collaborate with or work with C.S. Joseph, and it's because of the, all the people that have come out and spoke against him, all the people that have worked with him that have felt used or manipulated by him. This is a man who seems to have a history of manipulation and exploitation, and this seems to carry out in his content and across his videos, but also across his community. And that's dangerous, and that's problematic. Now, let me conclude this by also saying that I have no problem with the ENTP personality type. If you watch other ENTP YouTubers, you'll find that there are many great and talented ENTPs out there that spread a positive view of the ENTP personality type and its capabilities and potential. However, C.S. Yosef does not seem to embody the positive nature of the ENTP personality type, nor does he set a good and healthy example for other ENTPs to follow. You don't have to agree with me on everything that I say about C.S. Yosef, and I'm sure that he has created some really good videos as well, and that he's had good days, and that he's done good things as well. And you know, everyone is complicated. Everyone has their strengths and their weaknesses. What I know is, what I want to tell you is, always be mindful of the content that you consume online. Always be mindful of how videos make you feel. Always be mindful of the information that you're being fed. Always think critically about what people are telling you and find out for yourself what feels right to you. Listen to your own heart and your own feelings and think about how you're affected by the presence and energy of other people. How do you feel around other people and how do they make you feel with their content? How do they support you and how have your experiences felt with them? I'm honestly sorry that I even have to make this video or talk about this and I hope that he will learn from what he says and that he will work on himself and his content. Finally, like I said, there are so many great creators out there with so much good content and with so many good ideas and so many interesting theories about personality psychology. So I definitely encourage you to get out of the C.S. Yosef rabbit hole and to broaden your horizons and to look at other perspectives on the personality types. Thank you so much for hearing me out and I hope to see you all in the next video.